Present teacher. Ok, bye. Bye, guys. Ya no viene el teacher. Vámonos. Continue en inglés. Continue. <risa> ok, Edward. Continue with the conversation. No, ya fueron varios. Vámonos. You are in mute, teacher. Mute. El micrófono, teacher. I know. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Man, you really scare me. Se me asustaron. No, ya. Ya, ya nos desconectamos María. varios, teacher. Yeah, I can tell, I can tell. Well, no, it's just uh, uh, because I needed to give us uh, some recommendations, but I need to finish this exercise. Just bear with me a few minutes. Solo espere menos minutitos. Okay? Uh, the exercise, we are going to perform it tomorrow. El ejercicio lo vamos a realizar mañana. But, uh, please, I need you to finish the working on the platform. And besides mm -hmm. that... Just give me just a second. Okay. Thank you very much for waiting for me. Gracias por esperarme. And I'm sorry, this I'm is sorry. terrible. And let's see. Well, I don't get the attendance because everybody left. I was in the Edward la tomó, teacher. Oh, that's cool. Edward was taking the attendance. Oh my gosh. You know? Todos, todos Rox estaban presentes. Roxana was so sad. Oh. It was just that the teacher was not in the class and Roxana got like hyper. She said, no, no more teacher. Yeah. No, no quiero imaginarme que el tipo de alma fue. Yeah, I cannot imagine the type of student she was. No quiero imaginarme el tipo de alumna que era. My gosh. Uh, cool, you know, little horns and everything. Hey guys, thank you very much. I will really appreciate it. Please work in the platform, work in the platform. See you tomorrow. Marta, you stay with me a few minutes, please. Yes, Bye. teacher. Bye. Bye. No le va a decir nada, Carlos. Vaya por grande. Por el no le crea nada a Carlos de lo que le diga. I'll be careful then. Seré cuidadoso. No, no, but Carlos was not paying attention. Sí, no, no, no estaba prestando atención. Okay, just give me a second. That's it. Hello, Martha. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. And you? I'm just great, just great. And tell me, Martha, how was your day? Excuse me? How was your day? What did you do today? Okay. My I'm sorry, I need, to, I need to say bye to Maria. Okay. Because I cannot She's connecting. She's connecting. Yeah. Maria, see you tomorrow. Teacher, sorry. Bye. 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 Got broken also. See you tomorrow. Work in the platform, Maria. Finish it, please. Teacher, I don't understand the first part for the exam because uh, I don't mandeme, have instructions. Mandeme una captura, please. And I'll okay. help you. Yo le ayudo. Okay. Thank Bye. you, teacher. Goodbye. So, Marta, Marta, tell me, is there any topic specific like, that you would like me to help you? Yes, Perhaps yes, teacher. Something in the class that is not clear? Okay, tell me, tell me. Uh, my problem the unit three, for, okay. for example, section. the section yeah. three. For tell example, me, the fraser, fraser bar, Oh, idioms is is difficult for me. Phrasal I should verb an idiom. Yeah. Ah, okay. I understand. I understand. Okay. Um, no, look. I I should yeah. memorize only. Oh, um, oh. Look, actually, to be honest with you, 
para ser honesto, I wouldn't recommend you to memorize, to try to memorize it. No le... But is, no. is, is, is used in the conversation, no? Yes, they are used in the conversation. But let me explain, let me explicar. The, the thing goes like this. La situación es esta. Okay, so how good are you at memorizing? ¿Qué tal es usted para memorizar? Are you good? When are you, when are younger, maybe? <laughs> when I was younger. <laughs> when, I, when I was younger, maybe. Or no more. Okay, okay, yes, I understand, yes. Yeah, but I try. No, what I mean is this, look. Lo que quiero dar de entender es esto. What happens is that sometimes uh, we are old. I mean, I'm sorry for the question. How old are you, my dear? I'm 47. Okay, you are a kid, or a jovencito. Uh, okay. uh, no, no more. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. That happens to the best of us. Nos pasa hasta lo mejor, don't worry. Yes, I know. <laughs> okay, what happened is this, Martha? Uh, when, when we become of certain age, when we become of certain age, our brain, I mean, we have many, many worries all along the day. Tenemos muchas preocupaciones a lo largo del día. Because, I mean, you are a housewife, you are a worker, okay? You are a mother, you are a yes. wife. Es ama de casa, es esposa, es empleada, es madre. You got a lot of pressure all along the day, right? And then you have to attend class. If I asked you to do an extra exercise of memorizing, the problem is that the problem is excellent. You are like, oh, cool, no problem, I got them. But you say, no. Yes, you keep on trying and trying and trying. We get tratando, tratando, y no se nos quedan, ¿qué pasa? Oh, we get frustrated. Yes, yes. And when we get frustrated, we stop learning. Y entonces, si dejamos de aprender. Yes, I know. So, what, what is my, my recommendation? What is my recommendation? My recommendation is the following one. Look. Mi recomendación es el siguiente. Oops, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, my recommendation is the following. Don't try to memorize, no trate de memorizarlos, okay? I mean, you are already using some of them. Usted ya no usa alguno. You do, because I mean, you use the uh, wake up, go to sleep, Check in, check out. Con and, yeah. It, the only difference is this. La única diferencia es esta. You didn't know you were using them. Usted no sabía que yo estaba usando. That's the only difference. You didn't know that they were phrasal verbs. No sabía que se llamaban phrasal verbs. But you are using them. In this mm. case, with this specifically, I mean, if you encounter one, Si se encuentra alguno en una conversación, en una lectura, en un text, uh, en una song, en una canción, en una movie, then I would like, I would advise you, ahí sí yo le diría. But don't, don't overdo it, no se pase, no trate de memorizarlo. Just look, oh, this means this, eso significa esto. Okay? Next time, the second time, perhaps you will look again. La segunda vez, la tercera, puede ser que le toque volver a verificar. Pero yo okay. que la cuarta o quinta vez que se lo encuentre, ya va I a remember. Ya va a recordar. Es más fácil así y va a ser menos frustrante para usted. Yes. And it's better when you learn to practice. Es mejor cuando aprendemos haciendo. That's why the, the methodology right. we are using here is task-based approach. Por eso la metodología que usamos acá se enfoca en hacer algo. 
Practice. 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 Les doy la explicación, hablamos, los preparo para ir al ejercicio. Ahora hagamos el ejercicio. And when I come and ask you to produce something, produce fast. It's It's more easy. Le digo, vaya. Sí, les digo, vaya, miren, me van a hacer una conversación, me van a contestar esta pregunta. No tan rápido. Sometimes yes. when I get to the groups, you have already finished. A veces yo llego a un grupo y ya terminaron. Yo todavía tengo algunos minutos disponibles. Because it's easier for you. So, Don't, don't look for them like that. Don't get a list and try to learn them. It's going to be a little bit more difficult. Yes, it's, it's difficult for me. But yeah, it's, it's but I appreciate like the advice. Slow, lentamente, take it easy, and just keep on, keep on practicing. Dejo así, sigue practicando. How do you practice? Okay. Get the manual, read, review read the, the conversation. Book. Review the conversation. You can, uh, if you have time, you can check out the exercises on the platform. Puede volverlos a hacer. The platform is going to get your highest grade. La plataforma le va a registrar la nota más alta. Okay. okay. So you can do them again, don't worry. And no problema que se equivoca. And also you can check out the video conferences. Puedo revisar la video conferencia. Si no todo claro. All of them are in YouTube. Don't get in YouTube. Okay. So, and if you watch TV, sometimes on your free time, se le queda tiempo libre. Eh, put a movie on, with the titles in English. Póngale los títulos en inglés. Okay. In that case, I will recommend you one movie that you already you have already seen, una que ya viste, but you know the general idea. The topic, okay. Yeah, you you already know the general idea, so you start watching the movie and you put you set the titles for the titles in English, and you will be listening and reading. You will start escuchando y leyendo. So you will going to you are going to be practicing two two skills, son dos habilidades: listening comprehension and reading in comprehension. Okay. Y mezclándolas al mismo tiempo. Okay? okay. If you if you want to practice a song, quieres practicar una canción. Some students like to do that. Algunos les gusta hacer eso. Look for the lyrics in English. Busque las letras en inglés. Okay. Right at the beginning, the same. Just Listen, read, listen, read. Then, después un día, listen, read, and try to mouth. Que solamente trate de hacer la mente. That way your mouth, your muscles here, are going to try to make the motion for the words. De esta manera, tu boca se va a acostumbrar a todos los movimientos. Because something happens. If you have noticed, if you have noticed, sometimes when we finish, Uh, speaking English, a veces cuando comenzamos, terminamos de hablar inglés, this part hurts a little bit. A pain. <laughs> yeah, it's normal because, because you are using a language that you are not used to, porque está usando un lenguaje que usted no está acostumbrada. And the vocalization is different. The vocalization is different. La manera que vocalizamos es distinta. If you notice, even, even the pitch of the voice changes. Si se da cuenta, aún el tono de la voz me cambia. Yes. When I start speaking in English, even the pitch of my voice is different. And it's because of that. Because, I mean, the way in which I have to know you, my words, different. Okay? Yes. yes. So, and then, and as the last exercise, you listen, read, and then make okay. sounds. Okay. 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 In this world. Okay. That could be very helpful for you. Okay. Eso le recomendaría yo. And I mean, okay. I really mean, that would help you a lot. Eso le ayudaría muchísimo. Do those exercises. But don't get lists. Forget about getting lists of verbs mm -hmm. and memorizing them. No, it doesn't work like that. Right. Yes. Yes, un verbo si, por ejemplo, si está haciendo oraciones en presente perfecto y usted sabe que tiene que poner el verbo pasado participio y no se acuerda cuál es, ahí sí búsquelo. Sí, a buscar. 
<risa> específicamente el que necesita. Como usted dice, oh. quiero ver, quiero hacer una oración en presente perfecto de lo que he hecho hoy. I have, uh, yo he cocinado. ¿Cómo digo cocinado? Es usted. I have cooked. Cook. Va y lo busca. Cook. En pasado participio le va a hacer cook. Ah, ok. Cook. I have cook. I have, I have time. Eh, he limpiado algo. I have time. Busca el verbo en específico. In that case, yes. Look for the specific verb you need. No more. No más. Ok. Ok. Y cuando encuentre un verbo nuevo, yo le recomendaría. Hasta next, pero tal como en el artículo. Si usted encuentra un verbo nuevo, ese verbo usa de una, en unas tres o cuatro situaciones distintas. Ok. Por practice. Así se nos queda. Okay. Así es como los memorizamos. Y a veces no se da cuenta que ya se lo aprendió. Pero va a llegar un momento en el que en una situación en particular, usted va a decir, hey, es ese verbo. Ah, uh, yeah, it's normally, yeah. Yeah, that happens. It's quite normal. Okay. I hope I have been of help for you. Espero haberle ayudado. Yes, teacher. Thank you very much. No, thanks to you for staying and for waiting for me. Gracias por esperarme. <laughs> You're welcome, teacher. Thank you. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Take See care. you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Bye. Good night. Okay, let's see. Let's just make a small review of today's class. Today's class, we were also working with the use of if and when, which is very important for us to remember. According to what we watched in the manual, uh, there's a little funky part when we say when is when we are faced with usual situations. And you use if in the manual when we are thinking about unusual situations. When we talk about clauses, it's very important that you remember we are talking about a conditional sentence. The conditional sentences we use clause. We use a conditional clause and a resource clause. But let's remember that conditional sentences are in something that we call the subjunctive mood. What is the subjunctive mood? Oh, it's the one that expresses something that is contrary or opposite to fact, contrary to reality. How so? Okay. We got uh, the zero condition. Zero conditional is like kind of, a, of an exception because zero conditional talk about general truth. But the first, second, and third conditional, they are uh, contrary to fact, completely. Because the first type of conditional is the future possible. In the future possible, we are expressing something that if the condition becomes so in the present, the result will be seen in the future. But still, we are talking about the future, and remember that the future is not something that is certain. We are not sure about the future. We are not sure if the future is going to happen or not because it can change. When we are talking about future, the future can be can be changed. I mean, it, there's the future is not set in stone. I mean, it could be it could vary. Like if I have money, I will invite my family for dinner. If I have, but what about if they don't pay me? I won't invite them. Future, okay. There's something. Mm -hmm. It depends on the condition. Second type of condition, the present unreal. The present unreal for us Spanish speaker is kind of weird because it's not, uh, we don't usually, here in El Salvador, we don't usually think that way. 
The closest we could say is that we are expressing something that is the action uh, that came through in a moment close to the present, the result will, will happen in the present. Like if I have money, I will buy a car, but I don't, yeah. I won't. That's completely unreal, right? And then we have the past unreal. What is the past unreal? The past unreal expresses something that is the action has become true. In the past, in a moment of the past, the result will have been, will have happened in the past. That's that, oh, it's very simple. We think in that way in Spanish. So for Spanish speakers, it's easier that sentence. Oh, because well, if I had a study for my exam, I will have a proof with a 10. See? Very simple. Well, that was the the thanks everybody for watching me, for waiting for me. And see you tomorrow. Have a good night. <laughs>